Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Schneider, and today I'm going to show you the modulation I just played. It's a, it's a key change that goes from C major to A major. Now, A major is not related to the C major at all, but we're using what's called modal mixture. And what that means is we're taking what would normally be a minor chord and making it a major chord. Uh, you know, you could do the same in the opposite direction. If you had a chord that would normally be major, you can make that minor. But in this case, we're taking that A minor and making it major. So you see, we're starting in C major, and then we're doing this 2 5 1 to what would normally be an A minor chord, because A minor is the relative minor of C major. But we are throwing in a little surprise here. Instead of going to the minor chord, we're going to the major 7. And I first picked this up from an old Quincy Jones tune called Just Once from back in the early 80s. So at the end of this tune, he does this cadence where he goes from the four chord to the five chord. And then instead of ending on the one, which is where you'd expect it to go, it ends on that, uh, that six chord, but the major version. So here's the end of Just Once. It's actually in D major. So I'll set you up with a D major chord. And as I said, it's starting on the four. ends on that sixth chord, but the major version. Okay, I'll go back to my example. Now we're in C major. And we did a two, five, one going to A major instead of A minor. And that two, five, one is the B minor seven flat five, E seven flat nine, and then there's the A major seven. And you know, the, the minor seven flat five chord, that, that, that one right here, the B minor seven flat five, that really sets you up for a minor chord because, uh, in a minor two, five, one, usually you have that minor seven flat five chord as the two. So you have that minor seven flat five. You know, we're, we're expecting that minor chord, right? But no, we go to A major. It's a really nice surprise. If you want to add even more color to this, you can even add this little gospel thing at the end. Check this out. So we're going. It's that, that nice thing moving in sixths. The G sharp in the left hand with an F in the right. Then you have the B and the G sharp, and then the A and the F sharp. So now it's almost like we're ending on an F sharp minor in first inversion. But uh, one other ending you can do is after the A major, take it back into C major by going to a D minor seven chord. That's really nice, right? So I'll leave it at that. Mess around with this chord progression, guys. You can include it in your own songs. You know, learning chord progressions and getting good at harmony is all about stealing other people's songs. You know, I said I lifted this from that Quincy Jones tune, but you know, this chord progression is used all over the place. You even ha you even have something like this in uh, you know the old classical days with the Picardy Third is is kind of similar to this with that modal mixture. And um, if you guys like Brian McKnight, he uses this all the time, especially at the end of tunes. So listen for it and practice it. And let me know how it goes. If you have questions, feel free to leave them down below. And guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.